sustainable sourcing. So finally, we're talking about the other aspects that maybe many of you are familiar with when we say socially responsible, which is the sustainable part. So we have what's called this triple bottom line. So it's comprised of the social aspect, the environment aspect, and then the economic aspect. So when we combine all this together, we'll have the socially responsible sourcing. So social, what, what is social here? So whether that's the company is sourcing from companies that have a living wage or perhaps have some type of mental health program at their company, or it could be something like making sure that there's heating and air conditioning in the factory that you're sourcing from. So the employees are able to work in relative comfort. Depending on what part of the world, I mean, air conditioning might not be something that needs to be factored. Where in other parts of the world, maybe heat is not something that needs to be considered. So make sure you have an understanding of where you're sourcing from if you're going to use something such as uh, heating and air conditioning. Now, I mentioned living wage under social. So you have to remember, it's not the living wage of the United States, for example, where the minimum wage is set by the federal government and then each state creates their own, which is usually a higher wage, and then some cities make it even higher. The living wage is for the country or the area that you're sourcing from. For example, if you're sourcing from Africa, for example, a living wage might be the equivalent of a dollar a day when compared to a United States dollars. But if you're sourcing from a country such as Germany, well, it might be on the same level as the United States. So you have to consider the country or the location you're sourcing from. It's their living wage. So depending on how the country is developed, we'll dictate that. And you can probably find out this information relatively simply. You can just ask your company, your supplier, do you pay your employees a living wage? And if so, what is that living wage that you provide? And then they'll tell you. If they don't tell you, you can stop considering that company or you can continue considering that company. It's up to you on how you want to do that. But also remember, the wage might be lower, but this, that company, the supplier, might be providing housing for their employees, might be providing lunch and dinner to, you know, to go with the work shift might be providing all these things so that means they technically can offer a lower wage because everything else is taken care of so keep this in mind when you're looking at the social aspect especially when it comes to a living wage a lot of people don't understand that living wage aspect now the environment this is probably the most thought of when it comes to socially responsible sourcing Yes, we can do sustainable forests, we can do recycling, uh, you know, all these different aspects, clean air, clean water, all these things. So you can use those as aspects. Are they certified by ISO as an is a, uh, a environmentally friendly company? or whatever is the equivalent, let's say, in that country. Every country can have their own standard. They don't have to follow the United States standards. So keep in mind, you cannot apply a United States standard on a foreign country or a foreign supplier, but you can make sure they're complying with their own regulations. And if you want to have a higher standard, let's say you want to use that United States standard, is there a supplier that can meet that standard? It, it, these are criteria that you can use a multi-criteria analysis to figure out and weight, put weights on their scores and come up with your best supplier. Then we have our economic one. So are they helping local community? 
are they maybe supporting a school in a local area? Is it, are they treating everybody the same? You know, a big thing in some countries is the pay difference between men and women. Some countries it's equal, other countries it could be women are only paid about 30% of what the men get paid. It, it's out there in the world. So understanding these aspects is, is something you need to look into. It's not just a matter of looking on Amazon and then saying, oh, we're going to buy this. No, you need to understand this because you're going to be talking to these companies. It's not a, a transaction. The transaction's not sourcing. Sourcing is you're actually out there searching for something specific. So when we combine all these, we'll have this, the socially responsible sourcing. And that way we know and we can prove to our customers who may be concerned about this that we're doing what we can as a company to use this triple bottom line to ensure we're responsible in our sourcing aspects. So this one's really short, it's only this slide, but we're gonna start talking about some tools and the next tool we're gonna to use and that I'm gonna go over is contract management software. So I look forward to seeing you in the next video.